Welcome back to Suladan Plays Pizza Possum. So I figured out a couple things by accident. One, if you hit escape, it tells you how many espressos you've picked up. Nifty. Two, they carried over from the last game, as did these. Three, I figured out this is a usable item, and that's why nothing happened when I ran around at the end of the last one. So my plan is I would like to try to get the second crown. However... If that they will take it means I have to beat the entire game again to get it back, no. We'll see how far we get. If, however, it means that I have to come back to this platform to reobtain it, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure this is probably what it is, and that's why it's there. Or that just may be to tell me how far I've ever gotten. Uh, but yeah, when you use the crown, they they uh, it does a thing for a few seconds. I haven't actually done anything but push the button while standing over here and then you have to wait for it to cool down. It's basically a reusable item, which is cool. But uh, first I need to see if I'm getting out of here. And I am going to try to be a little sneakier because I don't want to necessarily waste the... Given that it has a cool down and all, I'd rather not waste it. You are not supposed to be here, second dog. Exactly. You didn't see anything. I didn't lose the crown by obtaining smoke bombs. I thought I could only carry one item, so it just overrides it. So when I run out of items, I then have the crown. So... I'm being a little cautious because of the whole not knowing whether it's like, if I lose, I lose big. There are uh, an excess of dogs, which is not great. Oh, great. Uh, I'd rather not. I'm just going to go this way and pretend I'd... Oh, why are there more of you? There should not be so many of you. Y'all don't see nothing. Alright. I'm just gonna let some of this food digest. Because there's too many dogs. And I dropped my smoke bombs. Give that back. That would have been so funny if I bumped into him and just instantly lost. Oh no, it's you. There's another one. Are they just spawning out of the woodworks? I hope it's not a the longer you play, the more dogs there are. That would be cruelty. I want that cream puff thing back there, but it's not exactly in a position where I can safely obtain it. Well, now it is. Mine. Just grab that pizza. And run for my life. Grab that pizza. Grab that pizza. Grab that pizza. Hmm. No, I want the smoke bomb, you goobus. Oh, hi. I'm not here. You don't see anything. Cheese. I'll just hide behind the cheese where nobody will ever think to look for me. There's my cheese and you can't have it. Ah, ah. Not a good time to rub the nose. More smoke bombs. Excellent. I kind of wonder if I broke the game by not unlocking further items, because the less items there are in the pool, the more likely I am to pull smoke bombs. So maybe I just dumb lucked into finding the best item. Or maybe the further items are even more broken than the smoke bomb. But either way, let's not test. Come on. No, don't be slow. I've just got to make do with what random food I can find here, I guess. Hmm. A 
can I go around there? Oh no. Oh no. Let me know. No! 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 If that ends it, then then that's it. Stick around and scout, make sure orders. Oh yeah, I that that's as far as that goes. I'm I cannot care less to try to get three perfect run well, two perfect runs in a row. So uh Well that's a shame. That would have been such a fun thing to have to play through more or less a new game plus. I feel like that is a missed opportunity. Hmm. What if I hit restart? Yeah, same thing. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's a shame. That disappoints me. That, like, legitimately disappoints me. I'm just gonna mess around for a bit. Yeah, that, that's so... And the sad thing is I could have hit the button and not lost, but I was so enamored by everything else going on. In my opinion, what should happen here is I would have to run all the way back to here, pick up the crown again, and then go, but... I don't... And it may just be me. I am not the type that enjoys gameplay that involves more or less being thrown all the way back to the start when it's that large of a time investment. It, it really is a matter of the time investment. Because, hypothetically, hypothetically, this means that if I wanted to get all three crowns, at any point if I lose, it means having to play through the entire game once just to get back to where I can start trying to make progress. It would basically be like trying to play getting over it with Bennett Foddy, but if you make a mistake at any point, you instantly teleport back to the start. No chance, nothing, no fallback partway, just boom, back to start. No, I don't have any interest in that sort of nonsense. That's one reason I have not played that game, and if I do, it will be with save states. But let's see what other items we can unlock. All my complaining aside. Actually, another option would be kind of go the Dark Souls route and have it be I have to go collect the crown without dying a second time or something. Bud, you annoy me. That really is so disappointing, though. Just carrying it makes me harder to spot. That's funny. I assume it means they lose track of it quicker. So yeah, that's just a permanent thing. That's neat. I mean, there are cool items and ideas and all, and I'd be more than happy to, like, enjoy the game on my own time and keep playing, but I'm not going to try doing the get three crowns thing, because if that's the way that's going to be, that's just ludicrous. Also, as much food as I found, I'm disappointed that I didn't unlock multiple items, but it probably doesn't count anything past the initial unlock. But that that's fine. I mean, somebody could have a ludicrously good run and just kind of get into a place where they unlock everything all at once. Uh, oh, I lost my bandity mask. Oh yeah, you lose the espressos and the band. Okay, so yeah, fair enough. A little more roguelike than I'm interested in. I prefer roguelite. I would rather keep some things. Just gonna jump down here and cut my losses. Why are you still following me? Leave me alone! Dear goodness. How are you still following me? Uh, Alrighty then. What are they doing? Alright. 
Kapara. Stand here, I guess. Jump back down here, get the ice cream. Ooh, ooh. Could I have jumped on the other side of that fence and broken everything? Onward we go. Got an espresso. Well, now I'm harder to find, and I have smoke bombs and too much food. Well, the joke's on you. I've got a fish. The joke's on you. I'm on the roof of a house with espresso. This was a terrible idea. Now it's a good idea. Well, that door is locked. Oh, dear. I need my smoke bombs back. Leave me alone. More smoke bombs. Since the item box is respawn, could you just literally just hang out somewhere and just stock up? Like, just let it keep respawning and keep grabbing repeats of uh, espresso and other equipment items that are useful for my continued survival. Why must you be where you are? Leave me alone. I want my smoke bombs back. Thank you. I got an espresso. Thank you. This mask is somewhat nice, I will admit. This is a terrible time for a cake. Is the cake what's making them a little slower to latch on to me? No. Fire off. Did you already lose interest in me? I mean, that works. Hi. Nope, don't need that. Nope, don't need that. Nope, don't need that. Also, I just realized the seagulls have pants on. You only notice it when they're facing certain directions. up on smoke bombs. I'm gonna eat these fish again. Eat these potatoes.
At some point, you just end up running a circuit trying to find, like, a fast source of food. I demand smoke bombs. There we go. It's like trying to level grind, but without actual experience. Let's not go that way. I will say it does not appear that you get more expressos and uh, whatnot by running around re-grabbing item boxes. So that's at least a thing. Bye. Bye. There we go. Got a key. Got to figure out where the key goes. Gonna go with this one. There's lots of stray food around here. or potatoes. Seagulls. Seagulls that drop bread. I'm going to follow this one seagull. Yeah, hey, chase an NPC halfway across the island. I don't know if I would call what I just did halfway across the island, but, you know. Gotcha. That right there is why I consider the smoke bombs to be slightly overpowered, because even if I get caught, I still get away. And I mean overpowered in a I love it kind of way, not a, not a fix it, because please don't fix it. more food. Someday I'm going to learn to jump and then you strange goat people, you will fear me. My jumping prowess. Why? is dangerous. Didn't know I had a key, but okay. Hello, other cake. Why don't I just stand on top of the cake? This works. Thing. 
You don't say nothing. I want that item box. Got it. One way to do it. Hi. Why are grapes so filling? Oh, that was a dangerous throw. Okay. Find a cake. Another cake. I'll take that cake too. Yes, excellent. I'll just keep eating all of these because they're at least worth five apiece. Say nothing. You don't see nothing. I'm just going to eat my weight in grapes. And then eat some more grapes. Oh, I have the key already. Oops. He's really trying to figure out if it's worth chasing me. Why did that fill? Was it because I did a checkpoint? Should I be doing checkpoints and I just don't know about it? Uh, come on! Thank you. Was it the cinnamon roll or the the checkpoint that did that? up here is either worth more points or something's something's going on can y'all not random peg-legged dogs oh dear there we go boom get out of Say nothing. You don't say nothing. Y'all don't say nothing either. Hey, hello there. You don't say nothing. You don't say nothing either. Let's see how far we can take this. That's still such such a taunting thing. Run from me, I did. Run from me! And then it wears off. And then you must hide. Which I mean I guess that isn't too much of a problem. It's just be sure you're be sure you have an escape route before the the little thing in the bottom right corner fills up. I like that it shows you exactly how long it lasts, though. That's very funny. It's 
Let's see if doing the checkpoint. Hey, okay, the checkpoint does, so I should be unlocking those. That would be convenient. Okay. We're back where the video began. Or maybe not. Okay, doing the checkpoint didn't help. Fair me. Fair me. Okay, we got smoke bombs. All is right with the world. There we go. We're back where we were, more or less. I am still disappointed by the whole it being a one-shot thing, because I'm just not a fan of one-shot things. That was my biggest complaint with the Dark Souls Daughters of Ash mod, was stealing the Death Soul was a one-shot. Like, you fail? Nope, you don't get another try. And you make a new save file, I guess, and play through umpteen hours of content to get back to where you were. Or, if you know what's coming in advance, make a backup copy of your save file, which I would have done had I known it was coming. Don't just give me one shot at something. That's not... Okay, you are in positions that are unfortunate for me. I don't have a surplus of smoke bombs, so I am trying to be somewhat cautious with them. While also getting better at actually, you know, avoiding problems instead of just spamming the smoke bomb. Hooray! Got a happy raccoon. Fair enough. Why do I have a happy raccoon? I don't know. I asked the raccoon. I'll just be over here eating this. I will eat this food whether you like it or not. See ya. Possum does what possum does. Eat food. Okay. That mask really does seem to have a large impact on, like, just how quickly or slowly they latch on to you. Also, it appears that when you get in the bush, there's an exclamation mark on the bush if they know you're in the bush, which is convenient. Oh, dear, there's a dog right there I was about to walk right into. What is down here? I could go down there. There's a big fish down there. But, alas, I must go up. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it. Okay. Can you not? Excellent. Excellent. Can you not be right there? Hi there! Stop! Following me. I am harmless. Unless you're food, in which case I am the destroyer of worlds. Okay, we've got full smoke bombs. All is right with the world. I have not seen an espresso in a really long time. Let's be in this bush here. I'll just be over here. I didn't want that. There we go. Let me know. We're at that point again where it's just run around and eat random food. See ya. 
More smoke bombs. No. That is the most adorable of them, but I still don't want it chasing me. No, I want the smoke bombs. Will give me smoke bombs. It's just a goat. Watch him run. Oh, I already have a key. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's fortunate I have a key, but it's unfortunate I was still running around eating food, because I don't know if that counts towards the next key. Stuff to collect 30,000 food. Found the big cake. Nobody knows it's me. I mean, the goat's watching me, but he's harmless. Leave me alone. I ain't done nothing to you. Boy. You can't save me. Oh no! I'm sure the little dog child wants nothing more than to hug me, but still he attracts unwanted attention from other large dogs that do not want to hug me. So it's in my best interest to not let him anywhere near me. I'm just gonna run in this general direction. Oh, why did I pick that up? Oh, good. Ugh. Items are my worst nightmare when I'm big chase. Why are there so many? Uh... I'm just gonna hide here. Get some of that. Run away. And run around in the grapes. Oh, hi. Random Sherlock Holmes bloodhound is not somebody you want to aggravate. I do like that each of the dogs have, like, personality and interesting design and different sounds and just... Th this is a very beautifully designed little game world. No, I demand smoke bomb. No. They're gonna trick me, game. I'm just running circles on the grapes and eventually reach the required number. Come over here. Uh, well, I demand it. I don't know if I found that one yet. The long-legged one just don't, or, well, the peg-legged one just don't give up. Alright. I demand this thing on a rooftop. What is this area? I don't... Do I recognize this area? I don't know, but there's another thing on the rooftop. <laughs> Those two are having a moment. Have I been to this area? Why are you walking around with your arms outstretched like a zombie, sir? That one's having an entry. <gasps> Giant spaghetti, you say? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna stun you just for good measure. Why? 
<laughs> hey now! Found another one. That'll work. Okay, more smoke bombs. I just need to go this way. Oh my goodness. You're all right where I need you to not be. So, let me through the store. Nope, not grabbing that box. You all can't stop me now. Oh, well, I got another key. Nope, not that way. Why must there be so many of you? have a key yet, so there's no point in me wasting liver. Interesting. I need to get that key first. Oh dear! I love with the mask just how slow they are to latch on to me. Isn't it? Okay, smoke bomb. Stay stunned. I need you to look the other way. Out of my way. Oh dear. Nobody says this. I'm not up here. Hi. Oh, okay, that was closer than I like it to be. Well, we got two grounds. What you gonna do about it? Round number two, give it over. Yeah, that pizza is even better than the first. No, stop eating my pizza. I am now the double king, fear me. Oh, I was hoping the crown would get taller and it would be all double kingish. If you make it, I, I will eat it. That was tasty, but I'm still hungry. Huzzah! Why are you floundering on me? Does the level 2 crown do anything different? Nope, not really. Okay, so, since I've technically gotten back to where I was, plus... Okay, maybe you'll only find three espressos. Because the last time I only had three. Maybe it's only three per run-through? I don't know. But it, ooh, 19 out of 20. We found more of those. So... Since we ended up right back where we were, I'm going to go ahead and do one more episode, and we'll try to get the third crown, especially now that I know a little bit more about the system. Still not the biggest fan of having to start over, but I will admit that given the length of the game, it's not that big of a problem. It's just more of a frustration than an actual design problem, because at most it's costing you 10 to 15 minutes. And it's not something that you're having to try a hundred times, like... You know, say a Dark Souls boss or something that you're having to fight again and again and again and again with a 15-minute run to them every single time. I like Dark Souls, don't get me wrong. I just know there are a few examples of where uh, the, the walk of shame, as they call it, where you're trying to just spend a lot of time getting back. Also, there's a whole lot of items I haven't unlocked that I really would love to see. Whether or not, well... If I survive, you're not, because they only unlock when you lose, which is a little sad. It would be neat if they unlocked just naturally. But in any case, I'm going to go and pause here.
and I will see you next time on Pizza Possum. <laughs>